Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. <gasps> Hello, everybody. It is I from my stamp palace. Now, one of the things that I am doing tonight, now have a sense of humor um, because it's all in fun, but before I do anything, I am putting on my tiara. Then I have to put on my stamping lips. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing because I never wear lipstick. So I've got the lips. I've got the tiara. <gasps> what did I forget? I know what I forgot. You ready? It is, if anybody knows, the magic sleeve. Now I am all set to do some stamping. So I'm so glad you joined my little birthday party tonight. And uh, I'm going to have a couple drawings. So we've got behind me, I'll be giving away three tipsies. I know there's only two in my hand, but three tipsies. And then I also, um, I didn't cut it all up yet, but three people are going to win. Um, you're going to get pre-folded cards and a bunch of DSP. Look at those. Look at those. So you're going to get all current, not, not um, retired. And that's going to be my birthday. And this is my surprise. So I'm going to put the other thing back on and, and turn the camera around so you all don't get all dizzy. Put, oop. So what I've been playing with, and I'm not actually going to make a card, but I decided to like color a bunch of different flowers. I've got some here that I didn't do yet, but the one thing that has been driving me crazy is this background. So I'm going to start over again. Um, what, how do you think it looks so far? Can you see it? So it, it's kind of like the petals go all different directions. So it's not as easy as I thought. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. And we're going to have some fun with the drawings, see who the winners are. If you've already won a tipsy, by the way, um, you know, like if your name comes up like Teresa's did twice <laughs> last time, then, <laughs> then you know, you, you can't win it. But if your name comes up, you can win the other prize. So, and there'll be three of those. You have that background, Diana? Have you had any luck with it? You know, like I've seen a couple things like, you know, where they do one flower, cut it out. There was one that was very intricate, but I wanna come up with a few things. And I figured if I color, you know, some of them like this one, I could actually just, you know, put something on it now, you know, trim it down a little bit. Um, these are not trimmed down yet. But um, I am using my illustrators because they are easier because of, you know, being able to use three or four colors. Well, in these little places, it that's kind of hard too. So I'm going to start with, and I don't know how far I'll get. Like, I don't want to, you know, keep you all, all night. But I know people tell me they enjoy watching coloring. So let's see what we can do here. All right, so I'm gonna start, well, I'll start with the purple ones again, because that's what I did on the last one. So I used um, Heather, Hydrangea, and Lilac. So the darkest color is the Heather. So I just kinda, you know, went in and did now, a lot of times 
I do one pedal. You'll see me on this one, one pedal at a time because I have no idea what's what's connected to to what and figuring it out. Um, I think I'm going to stamp it a couple times and um, send it to uh, to Lou to see what she can do with it. And I know it'll be absolutely gorgeous. God, the comments are just flying. You guys, you guys, I love you guys. I, I cannot believe how many um, birthday wishes I got today, like all over Facebook, all over YouTube. And the last time I looked, I was one away from 800 um, likes on Facebook and um, I'm less than 10 away from 7,000 now on, on YouTube. So I'm just bringing the color. I'm going over the darker color. Then I'm going to come in with the lightest color. You know, I always do that. I should put a piece of washi tape on the lid that I need to pull off. Okay, now I got to figure out when they're flipped. I'm not usually that good at it. So I'm going to put the light lighter on the edge. I want to go darker behind it. And I think I'm only because it's so small. I'm just going to use the, the medium shade and the light. And yes, I talk to myself when I am coloring. Might not be out loud, but you know, I do ask myself things, call myself names. So there's one. And yes, I will be turning the paper. So on these flowers, because they're so small, I really didn't do a lot of flicking like you would on something really big, especially not knowing which direction is which. And let me go under here. And I guess over there. I don't know. It kind of turns out to look okay. That's the light one. I want the medium. Medium. And if there's something, you know, uh, a set that you want to request me to make some cards with, you know, feel free to do that. If I have the set, I will grant your wish. See, and some of, is that the light? Yes, this is the light. Some of them I really don't know if the petal goes to this flower or a flower next to it. Especially that, that big one. And that's a leaf. See, like right there. Uh, and right there. So I think I am going to color them purple because it kind of looks like it is. So where it's overlapping, and this one too here, and then there's another one back there. And I don't think it's necessary. Like I think my idea before was better just doing like a few of the flowers. And um, I think you'd get too crazy. I'm already getting crazy that I started that one. But now that I started it, I got to finish it. And I think that's going to be green. Not sure. So I'll make it purple. Oop, oop, that's the dark. I need the light. Now that's going to be a lot more blending. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> Uh oh, some just fell off my desk. Oh, I have the fan going. Is that, can you, um, 
here? Like, is that bothering anybody? If it is, I'll shut it off. But it sure is making me cooler. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to come down here. Yeah, no one's going to know. This would be, I'll, I'll come back to that if I decide that I want to do more there. Um, these two here, I want purple here and there. So again, with the dark. And where it goes over any other petal. And I think I can do that one at the same time. That's how I end up confusing myself. But, you know, I guess I'm one of those old people. I cracked my daughter up when I said that. That restaurant was just full of old people. It was the five o'clock rush. Why does my phone do that? It shuts off. Um, let me get it back. Because I see the comments better on that because it's bigger. Facebook, go back. Sorry. Um, do do do. Oh, Gail Sue, where are you? There I am. It was it was in the seventies today. It wasn't it wasn't um real hot, but we have the air off. So if you don't have the the fan going a little bit, then you get hot. But it goes down at you know at night. It's nothing. Um, it's not too hot. I did crack up when it went. Um, I call it below, <laughs> but it was below forty, and people were dying down here. I was like, "What? It's a vacation to me." I know I'm not looking up that often. I think I just made a mess of these. And somehow I have to do like some, some dotties here. Not that they're really going to show, but yeah, they do show a little bit. Oh, what a difference. That just made it. <laughs> Please tell me that's the light one. Yes. So I just want to fill in around where I like where I left it lighter, although normally that would be the, the darker part. Okay. I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to tackle that one. So this one I decided to do in the yellows. So I took out gold just for some of the shading. I might go back and add a little bit more of it. But I thought it looked kind of blah on the other one. And then where it's going to fold over another petal. And there. Okay, so then I took, and Lou, if you're watching, I don't even know if you're on here, but I think everybody's markers get like that. Every Like with the red ones and inside, the red ones I, um, I cleaned and they're disgusting again. So I'm using Canary, Sunshine, and Dandelion. 
So dandelion is the darkest one. So I'm going to go in with, with that. And like I said, I'm not really doing like a lot of flicking. And sometimes I really like to do that, you know, in a flower. Because it gives it a whole different dimension. But I think with these, we're just going to do some normal blending. And then around there, I have to go with the dark, too. Because that's part of that one. Ah, wrong one. So I'm going to go around there. And there's another spot. Maybe that's part of this one. It is now. Flowers are hard. See, in here I was confused. I don't know what is that in there. So I'm going to leave it for now. That might be my, my blank space. <laughs> Or I'll just color in gray or something. All right, so then this color is canary. So I'm going to go over what I did and kind of try to blend out that darker color a little bit because you really don't want to see that, that line. You don't want to see it as a line. You want to see it as some shading. And I was kind of heavy handed in there, but that's all right. So I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to come in up here. Let me just check. Yep, I'm in camera. So I'm blending that. And then over here where I put some color. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the lightest one, which is sunshine and happiness. Yeah, I'm not supposed to sing. I've been told by many people, never do that again. Yeah, what is that? Is that a pedal to something else? It's a pedal to the metal. And then light there. And then going over everything so it blends out. Hmm. I think one of them needs to be purple or not. I don't know. That's a leaf there. I'll just move on to that flower. Yep. Yep. Because I not be knowing. All right. So that one I want to use like corals. So I have dark coral C9, which I'm going to use really, really at the end, and then starfish CR6 and salmon. And there should be another one. There should be another one. Vermilion, or however you say it, CR8. So on this, I did one petal at a time. Because I really, is this seven or, yeah, that's nine. Okay, I'm good. Because really, I, I don't know which way they're going. But there's a little indentation there. So I figured I would make that dark. And then for a while, it looked like, and then it kind of fell together. I mean, if you saw it before, I mean, it looked okay. I didn't worry about, you know, like moving into another petals territory. I did not worry about that. 
I don't know. So I'm going to go over here. I'll eventually get to everyone. This is very juicy. And then blend that and come back with the light. And just keep doing that. So I just grab a petal. Um, on these real small ones, I would do a couple. Not really knowing which is going to fall into where. But that's okay. Because the more you do it, the easier it gets. And I figure in about three years, it won't be a problem. I'll be like, mm-hmm, that's what a flower looks like. So I just kept going petal by petal and trying to put in the three colors. So even though if I left a very teeny, teeny space, a spot, I would go back with that light color. And I seriously, some of them, I know it's the petal falling over. I just can't tell. Like, I, I don't know. I, either I really don't know flowers or this artist was drinking tequila when they were coloring it. Mm, darker one. Okay, so. I mean, I just figured the inside of the flowers usually going to be a little bit darker and I even go back with that other one and do a few more lines all right lost one if I move those maybe I'll be good so I know it's a little tedious but it's relaxing to just sit and do this I should look at the screen, huh? Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to get brave here and do a couple to move it on a little quicker on these little ones. Because who knows? Artists should tell us what the flowers are. I Yeah, it's the truth. I'm not either. I, like, I don't know one. I mean, I know what a rose is. I know what a daisy is. I mean, some of the sets they name after the flower. So that's a help. But... I think they should always give us a full colored version. Just so we see what all the parts are. <laughs> is that cheating? Is that is that like getting the answers to a, uh, a crossword puzzle? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so this petal, I think, is going this way. Here's like confusion again. So I just kind of brought it like that and took the middle color. And then the light. So I don't know if that was, okay, so then I'm going to do this one over here. I do love flowers though. I just like bigger flowers that are <laughs> easier. Okay. 
Okay. I'm working out and then I'm going to work back in so that something looks like it's done. So on these bigger ones, I can see where they're overlapping. Whoops. So I can go ahead and map them out where the dark is going to be. Even right there. I guess I can do that one too. Okay, so we're going to come in. And like I've said before, you can always go back and add darker, but you can't take it away too easily anyway. Especially when you're working with reds and blues, any of the dark colors. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over this with the the light, which sometimes when you go to put it down, it looks like the same color that you just put, but it dries lighter. And of course, you want to blend. Oh, I got the light. I got the light. And I need the medium. All right, back to the medium. We don't want to totally mess this up. But I think it's starting to uh, come to life. Oh, there's needed medium and I'm back in the light again. All right, so I'm going to do the light. Let's see what happens so that you know when you mess up how to make it work. So I did the light. Now I'm going to go back with the medium and bring it out. And then I'm going to come back with the light again to blend that out. And I'm going over basically everything. I went out, but that's going to be the same color. All right. So let's put in a little bit more dark. Right there is going to be basically dark. Me, yeah, I'm getting very quiet, huh? I have no clue what these mishimashi petals are. It's a new word. So I'm just filling in the spaces. So seriously, you can all do this. That was the light. No, here's the light. I was good. I just keep putting them in different places. All right, I'm going to throw in some light there because I think it's an edge. Kind of looks like a pine cone. <laughs> Let's get some of these done, and then I think it'll start to really look like a flower. Yeah. Okay, back to the medium.
And then, thank you, Christine. A color by number. <laughs> Well, pretty much if, if they would just like color one. You know, everybody likes a cheat sheet now and then. But that's what um, Pinterest is for. But you still don't know exactly what the artist, which one am I at? What the artist meant, because you're just looking at you know, other people's interpretations. And sometimes we interpret it different than what the artist meant. So here's another petal right there. So the dark. And then the light. And then what I did, you know, I haven't finished that whole thing, but the dark color, the one that was the CR9 dark coral. So when I was totally finished with that, I went around and very lightly, like in spots that I know were between petals, like barely touching it. And it just kind of brought it out. And sometimes I had to go back and blend. But I don't know, this is like so small where on something bigger, you know, like you'd go over it twice anyway. So I didn't totally go over it. I just tried to put in very light. And you can see how that kind of brings it out. So I'm almost going on the, the stamp line, but slightly off it. And right now I'm working with it further away from me. So it's, it's a little bit harder to do. I guess I could pull it down. I'm kind of off camera there. Um, forgot where I was. And right there, I mean, as you're putting it on, it looks like it's really dark, but then it, it dries a little bit lighter. So I'm putting that up there so I don't grab that by mistake. Let's do a couple other of these. So we have to go around our pretty purple flowers, whatever they are. Maybe crocus, I don't know. But when you really don't know, go one petal at a time. These are just a little hard to, to do that way. But some of them I had to. Hi, Amanda. Thank you. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. So this is the medium color. I know we want to get to a drawing and it's going to happen in a few minutes. So here's the lightest color. So let me just check the time. It is, it is 837. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to bring out this one again. So for those who weren't here when I first went on, this one is a little smaller. So this is what I was just coloring. And I may still go back and put some more detail in there. Um, 
I know I want to put a little bit more. Oh, and I didn't do the inside of that one, but I did the inside with the with the darker. So I want to make this a little darker and I did what I think is a little rose, but it could be one of these closed and it has an open jet. So I made it darker anyway. So what time is it? It's time for some drawings. All right. So this is for a tipsy, which is from Crafters Solutions. So remember, if you already won one, then ooh. John, buddy, he don't need a tipsy, but I'll send John some cards because I always give him cards anyway. Um, all right, pick another winner. That was funny. Sonia Van Stee. Are you still on there, Sonia? So, Sonia just won a tipsy. So, I'm going to write that down. Uh, tipsy. Ah, oh, doofus. You're not a doofus. And hey, if anybody, you should put down your page, Sonia. They should see you color. Sonia is amazing colorist. All right. So, Sonia, you're going to uh, message me your address. And I will send that to you. So now, tipsy number two. Whoops. Do, 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 do. Dion Cameron, are you on? I will post the names after. So she's a tipsy. Okay, so now we're going to do from me, um, the DSP and cards, cards and DSP. So let's do that. See all these things that pop up on here, they like make me nervous, like they're like spam stuff. Karen. So Karen, I know she won something, but I think it was a card. So I'm going to put you down. Oh, no, this is for the cards. This is for the, so you're good to go. Uh, Karen. So I could still have your address. I'm not sure. Uh, boop, boop. Okay, so for more cards and DSP, let's see, um, pick another winner. Start. Patricia Settle. Look at all these winners. Okay, let's do another tipsy from Crafter Solutions. And you should check out their Etsy store because they have other like really awesome things. And of course I was moving things around today, but um, can you see it? No, can you see it? <laughs> I don't know what you can see and what you can't. <laughs> Like, I think everything's frozen. I'm not even sure. Oh, no, there's my hand. Oh, it's just the delay. Okay. So, tipsy, start. Amanda. Amanda. She's from back home. And she does craft. So, she's going to enjoy this. 
I used to do classes at the library and she's in charge of that. So I don't know if she's still on, but I can send it to the library. Okay, so for more card and DSP, this is the last one. Pick another winner and start. I guess this isn't... <gasps> Donna! Woohoo! Okay, Donna, I know I have your address. So Donna won some DSP and the uh, cards. So let me bring this back to this. We're going to do a little celebration here. I think this should show up on... <laughs> I think it shows up on there. It's actually my celebration, but it should be like things popping up on the screen. Woohoo! You guys are fun. All right, so so really I need Dion, Sonia, uh, Karen. I do think I have Patricia. Whoa, those things just jumped all over the place. <laughs> okay so I want to thank you for joining me tonight I'm going to throw like some of these I mean this is just some of what's going to come this is what we, we worked on um, here's my tiara that I wore the whole time I was stamping and trust me I never took off my lips so thank you for all the birthday wishes. I'll be back on Wednesday with, um, you know, my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. So thanks for celebrating with me. And I will see you Wednesday night at eight o'clock. Good night, all.